you know i gotta show the good the bad and the ugly we were in atlanta we were riding on the scooters and y'all know that i've had y'all don't know but something had happened i fell the wrong way my knee literally dislocated popped out of place and ever since then if i cut the wrong way if i move the wrong way like i can move like this i can run fast i can do planks i can work out but the minute i turn too quickly if i sit down the wrong way if i squat the wrong way it dislocates so i've been dealing with these throughout the you know i think it's been like a year and a half actually of just trying to heal it and stuff like that and it has not healed it hasn't healed and so i've had incidents where i fell in the front yard trying to check the mail like i jumped up to grab the spanish moss because we have spanish moss everywhere i jumped up and i came down on my knee it collapsed i fell in the yard couldn't move i didn't have a phone and nobody was home and so i was so embarrassed and my dog was out there i don't know why the first thing i you know when something happens to me i get embarrassed but i was more embarrassed and than anything i remember the fire truck had rolled by like people had actually my cousin had came but by that time i had already drugged myself it took me like two to three hours to drag myself you know in the house bit by bit because it was so painful i remember playing around and uh with uh someone and it did it i remember going to the pumpkin patch and i squatted down to take the picture and it dislocated when i squatted down uh at an acute angle and when i got up i felt it pop and it popped out of place so yesterday like these are the things that i go through or i've been going through so yesterday in atlanta we were on the boardwalk not boardwalk but you know it's like a little strip the footage i'll i'll put a clip in here like i was having fun and tony accidentally bumped into me and i and i came off of the um paved way and he bet we had bumped into each other like he bumped into me and as i'm falling off as I'm falling off, my knee snaps out of place and snaps back into place. I heard it. And the first thing I'm thinking is, did I just break my leg? It's hundreds of people walking back and forth. And all I remember is just getting my leg straight. I need to have it straight. Because if I don't let it like sit back in place, I will. someone will have to carry me. Like I would not be able to walk, which I'm not able to walk right now. I'm currently on crutches. And so this lady white lady white girl was in my face she has short hair and all i remember her saying was like are you okay and i'm like in the worst pain of my life i'm like yeah i'm okay yeah i'm, I'm okay she's like are you sure i'm like yeah i just need to rest whole time i'm trying to like deal with this pain the worst pain ever while trying to figure out like i'm embarrassed i'm in the worst pain ever and i'm just trying to figure out am i gonna be able to get up like that fear like am i gonna be able to get up it's somebody gonna have to literally carry me to the car and so that was the last straw for me because there's no way that i can afford to go to like a real doctor because girl i had an eye infection right i sleep with my eyes like roll sometimes i woke up in the middle it woke me up at the night and it was like i couldn't see out my eye it was haze i could not see so i you know me i'm gonna try to do everything i can to avoid going to the hospital so long story short i had to go to the hospital and he literally he literally looked at me for like two seconds it's like it's pink eye and i'm like is it pink eye though is it pink eye i don't think it's pink eye but i did have an infection something got in my eye something got in my eye and this eye has been giving me trouble so um they charge me just to give me eye drops. All I needed is medicated eye drops. You know how much they charge me? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars for medicated eye drops to be seen by a doctor. So could you imagine 
the debt I will put myself in just for them to check my knee out and they may need to run a CAT scan or do like uh, uh you know they may need to use some machinery do you know how much that would be we talking about thousands of dollars that I will be in debt I've avoided going to college for a reason I don't want to be in debt and right now like the place I'm in is not stable enough for me to like I'm not going to take a risk if I know like it's a calculated risk you know everything is online now you can kind of cheat now but it, for me it's just like i don't know first of all i don't want to be here and like where i live at in the city i live in tallahassee i don't want to be here i don't want to be here for too much longer so i don't want to go to school here you know living having roommates and stuff because technically that's what it is roommates because we all pay bills here it's just like is somebody gonna be blasting music this day is somebody gonna be bothering me or aggravating me this day and i need let's say you know me i wait to the last minute to try to cram or try to study and let's say this is a night where somebody's blasting music or somebody's bothering me or somebody's aggravating me somebody's doing something it's not quiet enough here for me <sighs> if you you're, if you can go to school for free here if your parents don't have a lot of money that means you can go to school for free but if you fuck it up if you flunk out that's it everything after that you got to pay for so i if i'm gonna do it i want to make sure i do it and I get honor roll, I get scholarships because otherwise I'll be fucked. And I think if you flunk out, then you have to pay it. Versus, anyway, point is, I'm not, I, I try to avoid getting things that will cause me to go into debt because who finna pay that shit? I'm not paying it. Like, and I don't want nothing over me. I don't owe anybody anyway. I just paid off my debt with the court, you know. Yeah, I just pay off my debt with the courts, you know, something had happened when I was younger in school and yeah here i am 24 years old still i just finally paid it off now could i've paid it off sooner yeah but nah bro y'all not gonna get half of my check every time y'all not gonna get a quarter of my check you finna get this much every time because i felt like what happened shouldn't shouldn't have never happened regardless of the lessons i learned i felt like you know with the system it was very unfair i was a child at that and it <laughs> they put big boy charges on me and I was a fucking child. And it's just like, nobody even, like, they nobody asked me what happened. Why are you in this situation? It's more so like, you were here, you did this, and you're being charged for it. And it's like, why though? There is something wrong. And it's like, that's always in the back of my mind. I could, let's say I work in fast food, I could slip. You know, I don't want to be in the front. First of all, with this leg being fucked up, I can't be on it like that. I can't I can't stand on it like that. Right now it's swollen and I can't move it. I, I I'm on crutches. So if I'm at an office, if I'm if I'm somewhere, I could slip or someone could bump into me and I'm I'm down. Man down. So yeah, that yesterday was the last straw for me. So hopefully we can set up something because yeah, this is it's not it. It's not it and um yeah um this is something i've been dealing with and i'm not i don't want to say i'm i don't want to say i'm prideful when it comes to things because I, again i'm more embarrassed i'm more ashamed i'm more it's coming from me being like embarrassed it's not even coming from me being prideful like oh i don't need anybody's help it's more so like i feel embarrassed and i don't want to bring even more attention to myself i don't you know want to be pitied i don't want that so i've been suffering in silence for a long time but it's gotten to the point where i need help and we're gonna see so yeah i'll see you guys later bye